Hello and welcome. This is Mouse Gunner, and we're back with some more Dead Cells. So this run is actually going pretty well for me. I have, as far as my levels going, I have level 5 health. We got a lot of levels of health in uh, the previous stage. I have four levels in strength and two levels in skills. Skills kind of falling behind. But the big thing that we have going for this run is, well, actually two elements. First off, our balance blade, level two. It does two times damage, but we also receive two times damage. It's going to make this boss fight extremely difficult. I'm going to have to avoid damage as much as possible. Our infantry bow is mostly just going to be something I can use to throw out damage at range. Not going to do a ton of damage, though. Our biter swarm and our horizontal turret are mostly just going to give us some distracting ability and be able to put out damage while we're not putting out damage. The other big element, though, is going to be the heart that we got. It's going to save our life once. So it's quite possible we'll die here uh, with the fact that we can we receive two times damage. I'm going to assume one or two hits from the boss might be all she wrote, even at level five health. But at the same time, we get to do double damage. So as long as I uh, am able to dodge damage and... Lately, I've been struggling with this boss. So we'll have to see if I, I can solve the riddle here. All right, let's throw these out. Now we're going to have to use our damage as much as I possibly can. Because look how much it ticks off his health. I think I got hit there a little bit. Oh, I wasn't paying attention. I, I wasn't ready for the next stage here. And I got hit again. So far, our level... Our level up health is doing okay, though. Okay, I'm gonna drink my potion while I can. Ah! Taking a lot of dumb damage. And there's my death if I don't drink a potion. Alright, so I've already kind of screwed up here quite a bit. Okay, we gotta keep him off of us. Very narrowly dodge that. Alright, I've I'm, I'm getting, been a little complacent, I feel like. You gotta stay away from him. Alright, I do have that extra life though, so all's not lost. That was it. And there's our life. Ah! That was a lot on me. I just was not as focused as I needed to be in that fight. The double damage played a part, but really it was me just totally collapsing in that fight that did it. I had what I needed to do to get that fight. It wasn't as close as it was the last time I fought it because, I mean, I feel like I was strongly equipped in that last run. But it is what it is. I'm still struggling with that boss, but we're just going to go through it. It's disappointing for me, but it's not the end of the world. We get progression every time we do this. Oh, this is not a good run. Uh, at least not a good start for a run. All right, so let's take a look at what we got. So we got total number of runs, three. That's a little bit bugged uh, as far as things go because it doesn't count any deaths there. And we have some information there. And then our death screen. I'm curious, is it going to give us two? It's only going to give us one death. Even though technically we had two lives. All right, well, bummer, but we'll do better in this run, hopefully. I backed all the way up. And I ran right into that arrow. I need to get past my impulse sometimes of, of dodging by jumping. Oh, hello. What does this do? Ah, I think we have ourselves our another rune, perhaps. Hey, okay, well, we have two items already. I'm still going to have to get used to that turret. The, the change to the turrets has is, is taken me a little bit of thinking to get. Alright, uh, I am going to take the blood sword, I think. Just because it's going to add bleed effect and that should help against some enemies. 
I believe they did nerf blood, uh, bleed. At least that was talked about. All right, we can't quite hit him there, but we can hit him there. All right, we got ourselves our shot. At this stage, I have a lot of gold, so I see no reason not to like look over here. All right, we have an ice amulet. Drops a bomb every time we roll. That's not necessarily great. We've got a bear trap, which also is going to fire a volley of arrows when we drop it. We've got firebrand level two. And it's also going to throw a grenade. So it ignites the ground and your enemies, inflicting 21 damage for three seconds. Maybe we did have a firebrand and I thought it was a torch. Hmm. Okay, and then we have grenade level two, which is also going to do 100% damage to burning targets. Well, hey, we can inflict burn if we get this. So let's go ahead and buy this. And we'll swap out the blood sword or the frost blast. Let's do the blood sword, because this is a... Uh... Well, actually, let me see what it looks like. No, it's a, it's a grenade. Okay. So we'll pick the, this back up. And then we'll swap. Okay, so this is a uh, just like a firebomb. It's a torch that you throw. Okay. Good to know. And then the grenade I'm going to pick up because I just think it's good synergy and we'll replace the flashbang level one. Okay, we have another turret behind a locked door. I could smash the door and just deal with a curse. I mean, this is not really a hard level to deal with a curse. Okay, 10 enemies. I can deal with that. 100% on a poison target. Well, we don't have a way to poison, but that's okay. It's level two, so it's still going to be better. I just throw that down. Now we just have to... Oh, uh, I almost took some dumb damage there. I'm not a fan of this situation. Ah, nope. Crap, you piece of junk. All right, well, now we've got one up here throwing crap at us, which I can't do anything about. Let's throw that out. That's a lot of damage. Holy crap. Get our health up. I mean, we don't get a choice in that matter. Now we can come over here and kill this guy. Walk in it. All right, I almost brain farted myself into death there. We only need to kill two more. Now one more. It's gonna be too hard. Just gotta not be an idiot. Boom. First lifted. All right. Well, at this point, we've already got a health level up, so let's go ahead and take our strength level up. And the torch counts as a strength item, so... That'll improve that. I'm, I'm tempted to take that nutcracker, but for now, we're just going to ignore it. Okay. Bleeding inflicts... Poison damage too. Well, now we have synergy with the poison. Unfortunately, the thing that affected poison was the turret. Hmm. Well, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take this and I'm going to go ahead and replace the turret. Just because I think this is a hell of a lot easier to use than the turret, which you have to keep a, a you know, a mind on the fact that It, you need to be within range of it. Like that. Bastard. But I like the dual bleed 
poison. Okay, what do we got? <laughs> a greed shield? No, no thanks. Level one. Okay. Now we've got our now decay dead body. Dead for a while now. Alright, so that was the way it worked in the pre-release version, is that guy was first a little bit more fresh. And then next time you came, he was decayed, and then you never saw him again, from what I remember. And that was not in there on the release version, so... Glad to see that back. I may actually want to go the Osirari route, but I'm not going to go that route just yet. Uh, just because I feel like you can get a lot more cells going that way. I mean, it's a lot longer level, so there's that element of it. Ooh, we do have ourselves a challenge now. I was just saying I haven't seen one of these. Oh, and here it comes. Eat that. Okay, we're going to time this. I didn't time that very well. All right, well, that was easy enough. Uh, and it only gives us a Biter Swarm, which does 30% damage on Bleeding Target. I kind of like the explosive... bonus damage, but it's so much easier for us to inflict bleed damage. And that fire is something I can do, but I I'm having a hard time hitting the grenade after I do that, because it's, it's throw, then grenade, right? I mean, that's ideally what you want to do, but it seems like the grenade just doesn't go far enough to really hit people. It doesn't go as far as the torch goes. So, because of that, as much as I love that synergy, I think I'm going to go with the Biter Swarm here. Just because we can inflict bleed two different ways. We can bleed, inflict it with our, our sword, which admittedly is a level one, and we can inflict that with our... What is it called? Knife Storm? All right. I'm going to go the Osiri route, uh, even though I think that that is a very dangerous route to take. And I'm fairly certain we've explored everywhere here, so let me just double check that on the map. Looks like we have. So, that's where I'm gonna go. The Osiri tends to be a very long level, but it gives you a lot of opportunity to get a ton of cells, so... That's the route we're gonna take. We do not want to curse going into the Osiri, though. That's usually my my rule with the Osirari. If you have a curse, leave the Osirari alone. Okay, let's talk to our cell collector here. I'm actually tempted to go with the the broadsword here. Even though the bleed thing is, is kind of uh, in our wheelhouse, I think we should unlock the broadsword. Either that or we do the Spartan sandals just to see what the hell it is. Yeah, why not? So it's level 4, holy crap. Recover 1% of your life with each melee attack, but take 1.5% damage. Okay, so that's interesting. 100% damage on burning target, which we can do. Okay, so just, uh, you, you kick them backwards. It's a very slow attack, though, so... It's gonna be challenging to use. But we get health back by doing it. That's interesting. Okay, well, let's, uh, let's go ahead and do the rest of our cells. And I think we're just gonna go... Boop, right into that. All right, let's get our health back up. So the 1.5 damage is, is going to be challenging to deal with. And I just don't know how well this kick is going to work for us. Now let me just remember here. So 100% damage on a burning target. So we're going to want to burn someone, then go up and kick them. Okay, well, I think I can do that, all right. Okay, we've got the range established. Kick you. Okay, interesting. And we kick him to death. And every time we kick, we're going to get health back, so I just have to keep that in mind. Throw that out. 
Throw that out. Oh, that bleed. That kick is going to be something to deal with, but... We can do a lot of damage, though, if we pair it. Okay. Boosh! Is he immune to the burn or something? No, he's not. Okay. Must be if the torch goes far enough, it's not going to do... Well, that's nice to know. This also has a limited range. There we go. And we're going to take our time in the Osir area because this is a very dangerous area to be in. All right, I'm just going to keep going. We'll go we'll go back cuz there's a there's a teleporter right there. All right, I'm going to see where this goes. Okay, that's going to go to the prison depths, our alternate exit. Curious what's up here, though. Ah, would be our time door, which there's no way we're getting to in time. Actually, this run's going pretty quickly, though. We were at nine minutes. We, uh, I mean, I would have had to go a lot faster to get to that door, but I'm, I'm going a little bit faster, even though I wasn't even trying to, to be honest with you. Oh, wait. Yeah, nine minutes. Okay. Getting a little bit confused. That's a new enemy. Can he teleport, is the question. But I think we're all wondering. Well, we'll find out. So far, no teleportation. Alright, well, uh, I was gonna say, I wonder if the spikes on the back will do damage to me. Guess we found that out. Um, we don't have an amulet. As a matter of fact, I had an opportunity to get an amulet, didn't I? And I didn't take it. Well, let's open this up, see what it is. Damage taken, reduced by 10%. That will help. You can jump three times in the air. That's going to be pretty good for us. So, boop, boop, boop. Boop, boop, boop. I like that. Okay, let's throw that down there. So this guy you want to stay far away from if you can. There we go. Get our little kick in there. That's right. Actually, if you attack him from the front, he probably can't hit you with that. I think I got sidetracked a little bit. This is not the direction I wanted to go in. Yeah, the torch cannot travel that far. You want to be able to take advantage of that. Oh, I walked right into that. Let's go in and kick him. I wanted to get some of our health back, so that's why I went in for the kicks. The more kicks we throw, the more health we're going to get back. Oh, there's a level up. Uh, let's take the damage upgrade, uh, because it's 1% of your life with each melee attack, so the damage doesn't really matter, huh? You know, I'm going to go against that. I'm going to go ahead and take the health. All right, let's let's not get too sidetracked here. I'm already I'm kind of doing that, but forgetting I have multiple jumps here. There we go. Just throw that out. Just want that guy to die now. Oh, I don't want to have anything to do with that right now. Ah. They got me. Trying to get in there and kick this guy. There we go. Get our health back a little bit. Come on, punk. Another kick in there. Kick. Kick. 
Kick. Kick. Kick. Kick. I just take care of him. I could have gotten another kick out of it, but kick. <laughs> kick. Kick. <laughs> I love the kick. I, I can't say that enough. Ah, I was going to get in there and kick him. Uh, we don't want to kick this guy. As a matter of fact, I'd rather attack him from a different direction where I can utilize my other stuff. Kick! <laughs> kick! 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 I mean, it's per hit, so... Alright, he's susceptible to being burned. Alright, well, that's it for this area. Doing okay on cells, 10, at this point. And... I'm gonna go ahead and put a cut in the video, I think, right here. And we'll pick up in the next video. So I hope you guys have enjoyed. This is Mouse Gunner, signing out.